Listening to graphic audio while driving is very popular, but it's not the only way to experience a movie in your mind. Kelsier pried at the creature's grip. The Inquisitor turned, regarding Kelsier with spike-end eyes. Kelsier's hand whipped out, ramming a dagger into the creature's neck. He tossed something to her. Vin paused until she finally dropped awkwardly to the floor. Vin looked up, slightly dazed. With trembling fingers, Edwin fastened the final hardware and dabbed the creases with oil from a half-empty can. Edwin inserted the hex key into the hole and gave it a twist. It works! Parker, I swear you've done a most excellent job! And with what? My leftovers! Is that who I think it is? Yes, if you think it's Rupert Roundtree. Zacky baby! That was stellar! Absolutely! A positively interstellar major. It's like it writes itself! Spectacular showcase velocity. Uh, what language is he speaking? Hollywood. It has no real rules of syntax. Ah! Ah, ah, the wind and the rain and the forest are part of me now. And I am a part of them. I can feel the seasons change, and the world turn, and the slow, steady pulse of the living. Would you like anything to drink from the house? I'm good, thank you. A glass of aqua sanguis, please? Right away. The server winked at me as she left. I noticed Devona scowling. Why, Ms. Conti, if I didn't know better, I might think you were actually jealous. Garin produced a lighter, struck it, locked the button, and tossed it onto the spilled solvent. M my insurance isn't going to cover all of this. <coughs> Garin grabbed him by the arm and pulled him behind the storage shelves. We're going to be trapped back here. Already the flames were climbing the walls and spreading out across the floor in pursuit of the spilled pool of solvent running across the warehouse. Smoke clouded up instantly. No way! The kid's already begun searching the net in the BAS database for ROM 717. Wow. You'll find it, right? Because he's good. He may be good, but I have the master keys. There's no way he'll cut through that ice before we get there. <sighs> if we ever get there. We sat in silence for a few moments. He was startled by Empty's frantic barking, but he was pretty sure of what it meant. He ran toward where he'd left the horses. The Gruya was gone. Swiftly, Wes removed the pack saddle from the bay, mounted the animal, and lit out in pursuit. What have you to say? <clears throat> it is not a matter we may speak of. We have sworn an oath of silence to the Shardamikar. You must trust my judgment on this. Must? Dal Sharum, do you presume to tell a bride of Everam what she must or must not do? Please, Parchin. Enlighten us about the night of which you speak. Emery couldn't resist taunting her. Aw, oh, now you'll get stuck up here and we'll have to call the fire department. But when Emery turned back around, she saw that Bast had caught up with her. Keep scratching up the furniture and we'll have to get you a manicure. Whoa! Come and get it! He jumped out the window. <laughs> Galen jumped across a narrow alley, landed on the peak of a crumbling inn's roof, ran across the narrow beam like an acrobat, jumped, and fell six paces onto a lower flat roof. I am Sakage, a lord of the shadows. I claim the shadows so the shadow may not. Margrethe? He offered her the red roses he held in his hands. Oh, Michael. They're lovely. Where did you find roses in Cairo at this time of year? Your neighbor's garden. She was mystified by his voice. What was a Russian-born gentleman doing working with the British Secret Service in North Africa? And why was his name not Russian? Suddenly, one of Rock's slugs ripped through the tail rotor control. Robson took advantage of the few seconds of confusion. I'm okay. 